Good morning. So I woke up to yet another email from YouTube of a removal of content. And I didn't get a community guideline strike, but they removed content on the claim that it contained harmful conspiracy theories. And you may or may not know that our channel uh, gets backed up. Rumble has some of our stuff, but Odyssey, I believe, has about all of it. And so I went and I went to check out Odyssey because they remove it. YouTube removes it from the servers. It's gone goodbye, right? There's no way we can access it to see it. So I went over to Odyssey to see what it is that I said that was so horribly inaccurate and scary and false. And folks, this is just one of the reasons that I quit dealing with YouTube. The, the father, for one, gave me his blessing to walk away. That was number one. That's the most important thing. But I could have made a choice to have stuck around. But I didn't. And this is just one of a myriad of reasons why. Because I'm not allowed to bring you honest information. I'm not allowed to bring you the truth because I get punished for it. If I was one of these prepper channels out here that was actually every single day coming on here fear-mongering you to death and telling you all kinds of conspiracies and made-up bullshit, as long as I was trying to sell you shit, I'd be okay. But since I don't fit those categories, since I'm just a guy that's trying to be a, a, a helpful voice out there, an honest voice out there, somewhere where you could go to get consistent, accurate information, oh no, that's got to go. I'm not foolish. So I got this email. Let me go ahead and bring you over to the uh, monitor two over here. I got this email. And it just said, I uh, wanted to let you know our team reviewed your content and we think it violates our policy on harmful conspiracy theories. We know you blah, 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 right? And they list the video. Of course, you can't click on it because it's gone. And it's a time it occurred. You can see an example around 7 minutes and 5 seconds in your video. While this is one example, there may be other instances. Okay. I did appeal it real quick, just let me get this letter out of the way, and they did deny the appeal, and said, no, nope, absolutely, there's uh, violations on their policy, and like I said, we've got an Odyssey account, and pretty much everything is backed up over there, including this, this is the video in question right here, I'll leave a link to it as well, because as you can see, it's on Odyssey. So, um, at seven minutes, and by the way, I want you to pay attention to that headline there. Where was that at? Twelve and a half minutes. So, at seven minutes and five seconds, roughly, we'll get in there somewhere close. This is what was going on. concert a concert I mean pull that volume back a little bit I mean literally that's what it was Jen and I went to a blue October concert and um, and there was a pretty incredible moment that evening and in, involving uh, somebody that was there for the show and that's what I did I I, I, I showed that to y'all um I'm failing to find the conspiracy theory in that, right? That's it, and that, that was it here. It was about the moment that he spent with that young lady. And it was an incredibly awesome uh, experience to be there, not only to see, but I'm sure for her, I'm sure it was beyond incredible, right? So anyway... That was at the particular time that they said that I had some type of harmful conspiracy stuff. And so I thought, well, hold up, hold up, because maybe there's something a little bit later on that I missed. 
So, let me find that 12 and a half minute mark again. And throughout this video, I talk about, um, oh, I talk about uh, David Rockefeller had passed away. Um, that's in here. Chuck Berry had passed away. That's in here. Neither one of those things are hardly harmful conspiracy theories. <clears throat> so, the very first news article that I covered after showing the concert stuff was this article right here. Talking about an Idaho boy that was sprayed by a, a device with a harmful chemical. As you see it on your screen now. And, um, and so I guess, I guess that is what they're calling a harmful conspiracy theory. And I say I guess because all I simply did was go to Google and put in Idaho boy sprayed with and the particular name of the chemical and NBC Montana, East Idaho News, uh, Cash Valley Daily, Politico Pro, AP News. I mean, AP uh, are are they uh, are they spreading conspiracy theories now too? Huh? YouTube, can you uh, can 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 you show this to me where there's they're spreading harmful conspiracy theories? Uh, KTVB is another one. Um, Capital Press, another from East Idaho News, Reuters, even Reuters got in there, right? Reuters is in here. So, apparently, apparently, it all depends on who you are when you tell honest news. It doesn't matter what the content is. It matters whether or not you fit into their little bitty paradigm of what makes it okay to be full of shit. I am not a pinball preparedness. I am not a barren dependent. I am not, which runs crazy, crazy scams of his own. And so I'm not welcome because I just bring you the truth. I thought about doing some live stream shows here and there to where I just... And I thought about it, and I even had a thumbnail made up the other day because I was going to do it. I was going to do it. And I thought, you know, I, it, is it worth the effort? Is it really worth the effort? And I know it's not a lot of efforts. It's like pushing a few buttons and sitting on my ass and just doing it, right? But is it worth it? Really? I mean, when you literally have the machine taking down content based on absolute falsehoods, when you only have a small audience to begin with that wants to hear the truth anyway, just it's not worth my time. It's not worth my effort. It's just not. You know, it's... And for what? For what? I got Amazon screwing me. I just... I, I can't... I can't see the point. I just do not see the point. But this... The lies... That's bullshit. That is bullshit. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. Good luck on finding the truth. Because the people out there that are covering the news just want to sell you a bunch of horse shit. Whether it be the propaganda or the products they pilfer. I do mean it. Good luck, I'm finding the truth. Shalom.